welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to continue from the last part where uh, we will be saving the to do with their sequence into the database okay so just to recap we have created a component which is making an ajax call okay on create this to do list and we are displaying it here we have implemented this drag and sort functionality which allows us to you know uh, pretty much sequence the entire list however i want to but yeah we haven't you know, saved it yet and that's the piece which we are going to tackle in this video so first of all i'll just change this to five i hope my watch is running yes so I will only see five to do's in here and now what we are going to do is create a model controller and migration called to do okay so php artisan make model dash m for migration and c for controller to do so it will create this migration file and the controller will also be created okay let's go to visual studio code inside to do or model we need to define the guarded property and i'll say everything is i mean the guarded property is empty so which means i can use the create function to populate all the keys okay now next i'll um, use this migration table integer position okay and table string title this should be enough we can do some indexing on integers as well but anyway so the model is done migration is done now controller store now what do we do in our controller what we are trying to do here is uh, let's say this dot first of all we will validate the request so validate request with these set of rules what are these rules i'll have a to do's key which is required and it has to be an array okay so once we get that i'll have a post data variable which will have the entire post request okay now obviously you know it is the same to do list so which i am sending from the front end so i'll just loop through it for each dollar post data to do's as dollar key dollar to do now why am i doing key see if you remember whatever you know save function is doing is printing out the keys right zero one two three so basically what i'm trying to say is that you know we need to use this as our sequence right so why don't we do this in here create our position is basically going to be dollar key plus one and the title is going to be dollar to do title i think this should work um, Is something wrong? Expecting. Oh yes. So I really like these small, small things about Visual Studio Code. Uh, return response JSON. I'll pass an empty array, but my status code will be two hundred. And 
you know, because we are not going to query an API to get our to-do list, why don't we, just for the sake of checking, uh, DB table to-dos, we'll first truncate it, okay? So every time this is saved, we first clear the table and then we save it. So the sequence is always what I have, you know, finally created. Um, so yeah, now, you know, I need to create that route to do, to do controller store. This is done. Now we'll handle it, handle it in our save sequence. So what are we trying to do in here? First of all, we need to create our post data variable. So let post data equals an object and post data dot to do's is going to be a key in that object where this dot to do's you know I'll run the map function pass the to do and I will return position which is going to be to do dot id because we know that the id is being changed and the title which is obviously to do dot title okay so this map function will give me the final list of to do's and then windows dot axios dot post I'll handle the promise handle the error okay so yeah I think this should work first I'll need to do PHP artisan migrate and I have the to do table I'll just open the database in here to do's and this table is empty which is fine I'll hit refresh and let's first do a simple save I have a 201 status which means I am able to do this now in here this item is on top right which is very similar to what we have here now let's take it up we'll make it the last entry and then hit save again and let's just see if we are able to see the exact sequence hit refresh so yes one two and this the one with D is right at the bottom so our position is one two three four five you know you have to remember that I did this plus one because the key starts with zero which you can see here zero one two three four so plus one is our position so yeah that's how you know we finally have you know, this sequence saved in our database and you know initially we have in our to-do list taken it from the you know JSON API but if you want you can create a you know URL where we, you are fetching the to-do list from the database and sending it and on save you are you know doing this kind of things so yeah that's how we can use the you know view draggable um, plugin to you know drag and sort things wherever we want to and yeah it's a pretty nice looking feature which we can implement in our applications so thanks for watching guys if you like the video and these tips and tricks do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel in the communities tab you can post your comments on what you like what you don't like what kind of tutorials uh, would really help you so yeah uh, send your feedback and i'll definitely uh, try to address as many as I can.